Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're trying to decide between the Brooklyn Bedding Titan Lux Hybrid Mattress and the Big Fig Mattress, you come to the right video. Today we're gonna to compare both those mattresses. We're gonna talk about their similarities, their differences, and help you choose one over the other. Let's get started. First off, if you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. There you're going to find some other reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like these two. You'll also find some great exclusive coupons in the YouTube description below. So let's start off by talking about the similarities between these two mattresses. First off, they're both made specifically with heavier people in mind. They're very supportive mattresses. They have a similar construction, so extra supportive coils and high density foam on top of that. They're also more responsive mattresses, make it easy to move around. And last but not least, they are both cooling, breathable mattresses. And now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, in terms of materials, the Big Fig features latex, the Titan Lux Hybrid does not. Speaking of firmness, the Titan Lux Hybrid is softer than the Big Fig. Now looking at price, the Big Fig is going to cost more than the Titan Lux Hybrid mattress, but the Big Fig does have a longer warranty than the Titan Lux Hybrid. So now let's take a look at the construction of both these mattresses, starting off on top and then working our way down. First off, speaking of the cover on the Titan mattress, right on top, a soft cover. It's also gonna to be tufted with some gel memory foam. Now over on the Big Fig mattress, you have a thermogel cover. It's gonna help with breathability and cooling. That's going to be tufted and quilted with latex foam. So there's more bounce on top of that mattress. Moving down to the comfort layers on both mattresses, on the Titan mattress, you're gonna have first Titan Flex Foam, gonna add some bounce and resilience to the top of the mattress, and below that, a layer of Energex Foam that acts as a transition layer. Now moving over to the Big Fig mattress, you have multiple layers of poly foam, very high density. Moving down to the support layers, both mattresses feature very supportive coils made to handle heavier weights. They both are gonna rest on a thin layer of high density foam. So what does all this mean? Well, again, these are both made with heavier people in mind. So again, very supportive coils, high density foams, gonna handle heavier weights. Also because of durability, I would probably give the slight advantage to the Big Fig mattress. Both very durable mattresses, but with Big Fig, you have some more high density foam right on top and latex foam as well. And last but not least, speaking of cooling and breathability, they are both very breathable mattresses. They both have coils, allow for some good airflow and gel infusions in their foam. However, I give the slight advantage to the Brooklyn Bedding Titan mattress. That's because of the option of a cooling panel right on top of the mattress. It's gonna add some phase change material, help with cooling and heat dissipation. And now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought the Titan mattress was close to a six and a half out of 10, about medium in terms of firmness. The big one was closer to an eight out of 10, firmer than average. And speaking of feel, with the Titan mattress, more of a responsive hybrid feel, but right on top, a little bit of that slow moving feel. Over with the Big Fig mattress, a more responsive mattress overall with more of that bouncy latex feel right on top. So now let's talk about how you feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses. Now starting off on the Titan Lux mattress on my back, a very good balance of comfort and support. My hip sink in the top memory foam layer, some good contouring and some good lumbar support as well. Good overall support from the coils. Moving to my side, also a good match for side sleeping, some softer layers right on top of the mattress, good pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. However, moving to my stomach, not quite enough support under my hips. I am going in there a little bit and getting out of alignments. There is a firmer model of this mattress, so definitely take a look at that if you're a stomach sleeper. Now moving over to the Big Fig mattress on my back, it's a little bit too firm for someone of my weight. However, I'm only 250 pounds. I think if you're a much heavier back sleeper, it could be a good option for you. Moving to my side though, definitely too firm for someone of my weight, feeling some serious pressure on my shoulders and my hips. However, moving to my stomach, it is a firm mattress, so definitely enough support under my hips. I'm not bowing in and I'm not getting out of alignments. Here at Mattress Clarity, I like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now let's pull up the size of the results for both these mattresses. On the left, the Titan Lux mattress. On the right, the Big Fig mattress. Now pay close attention to my size of the results specifically on my shoulders and my hips. Yeah. 
If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you do want to think about. That's motion transfer and edge support. Now, motion transfer means if you're lying down on one side of the mattress, your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Now, edge support means you're sitting or lying down at the edge of a mattress. Do you feel secure? We're going to roll off and onto the floor. So first off, speaking of motion transfer, I would give the advantage to the Titan Lux mattress. Memory foam right on top, better absorbing some of that motion, so better handling motion transfer overall. Speaking of edge support though, I would give the advantage to the Big Fig mattress. It is a firmer, more supportive mattress in general, so I feel more secure sitting and lying under the edge of the Big Fig. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Brooklyn Bedding Titan Lux mattress, I think it's a better option in general for heavier side sleepers. Definitely softer than the Big Fig, so better pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. I think in general also a better match for heavier back sleepers, a better balance of comfort and support, so lets your hips sink in a little bit more, good lumbar support, good overall support as well. It's also a better option if you want to spend less money on your mattress. The Titan Lux does cost less than the Big Fig, so a lower price tag in general. Now, in terms of who should get the Big Fig Matters, I think a better option for those who prefer something firmer overall. Again, an 8 out of 10 versus the 6.5 out of 10 for the Titan Lux. If you want something more supportive, take a look at the Big Fig. Also, a better option, I think, for heavier stomach sleepers. Being a firmer mattress, you should feel better support under your hips. You're not going to go in there or get out of alignment. If you want something longer lasting, something more durable, I'd probably take a look at the Big Fig mattress. Feature some high density foams right on top, even latex foam, a very durable, longer lasting material. These are both online mattresses. They're going to come delivered right to your front doorstep. Now, the Brooklyn Bedding Titan Lux comes in a cardboard box. How do you unbox it? Well, it's easy to follow these instructions. First off, ask a friend for help. This box is quite heavy, you don't want to hurt or strain yourself. Then bring that box inside and into your bedroom. Open up the top of the box and take out your rolled up mattress. Now place this on your framework foundation and slowly, carefully cut through the layers of plastic. You don't want to damage your brand new mattress. Then you get about 24 to 40 hours for the off gas and expand and you're good to go. At this point, you should know which of these mattresses is right for you. But if you're still a little bit confused, you want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Well, that's about it. If you started looking for a mattress for bedding, head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.